I kind of like doing the these deck tech streams really early in the ranking season because you shouldn't see as many VP farmers early in the ranking seasons. Um, but it's a reality. Unfortunately, we're still going to see them. Venus Lequeur was a pa apparently this person's last deck, so congratulations to them. Uh, we don't need two assault squads. I don't really want to get it with a grade three. This is this is fine. Uh, I would consider shipping Skydiver here because we really don't want to be riding Skydiver. Um, but I don't want to get grade stuck. So we're gonna and we're okay. So we we will ride Juggernaut Maximum if it comes down to that over uh, Spike Brothers or sorry over Skydiver. MLB. Are we farming MLB? Nope. Okay. Here we go. The consensus. Absolute number one best deck in the format. Can we do it? I am going to show you something really nifty uh, to do to MLB. Because we know when we're going second, we don't want to actually put the pressure on MLB. Um, because we don't want them to be able to act activate Wingle Brave on their first turn and guarantee uh, that they are going to go into MLB itself. So we're going to ride a 7k here. We're going to call Mecha Trainer back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swing under. So we're not going to do the damage, but we're going to check. Now if we'd hit one of our draw triggers there, we would have got to draw that card without placing on the damage. So that ends up just a, a cute little move you can do to them. Um, <laughs> literally, MLB gets some advantage by the fact. But we know that they're shipping hard, so it's probably the right call because they don't have it now. Um, and they don't commit a lot to the board early. And if we keep them from committing a lot to the board early, what will happen is when they ride MLB, they'll pull their Blaster Blade and their Blaster Dark. And it's going to give us the opportunity to kind of get our rush off without them doing anything. So we've got a lot of choices here. Um, I think what I want to do is force columns on them. I'm fine with dealing them two damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride a 10k here to force columns on them. Um, I'm going to ride that there, and I'm going to consider possibly, yeah, I think I am going to call our Devil Summoner here. Beautiful, we got a Dan, free Dan, will never hurt anyone. Uh, that means we do not have to use our Mecha Trainer for uh, that later. So what this is going to allow me to do here is, we're going to go here. Um, I actually could have used my Mecha Trainer now that I'm doing it in this way. So that was a little bit of a mistake. But because we have another uh, Intercept up, I'm going to use that to recycle and draw a card. I'm okay with that. They didn't get a booster, so we can attack in. And I'm okay with putting two damage on them. Because uh, they're going to run the Blaster Blades and everything out anyway, so we might as well give them the target. See if they got an LB together. If they did and we get some damage, it'll be nice uh, if we can get the Seafreed. I probably should have activated Mecha Trainer and turn now and think about it. I mistook, uh, thought I had a PG in my hand and I don't. Um, but they would have to put two damage on us prior um, to MLB and it doesn't even look like they... I'm guessing they're probably missing Blaster Dark or they're trying to figure out how to set up everything else. I'm actually surprised they didn't uh, that they didn't utilize their blaster blade there. So we are going to eat three damage this turn. Uh, we would have eaten eaten that three damage even if we had a PG in hand. No, Seafried, I want you in hand. We really want to draw Seafried here because the way they've done it, they've left us. They've left everything open for us to crush back. Well, that's a good set of defensive triggers, but no Seafried. So we can draw one here.
And they went and found another Blaster Dark. That's interesting. Um, oh, wow. All right. We're going to ride Jugs. We're going to grab a PG into our hand here. That's not a PG. We're going to give our Skydiver down there. We're going to give it an Assault. I don't think I'm going to use Dan this turn. Um, actually, I might. No, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to use Dan this turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to avoid Dan this turn. Uh, actually, no. Maybe? No, yeah, I'm going to avoid Dan. We're going to go in there. Uh, we're going to not invoke Dan. I don't want to use him this turn. We did want to see that check, so we're going to put that on the Assault Squad. Oh, two checks. I mean, now we're pretty much guaranteed we're not going with Seafried this game. <laughs> not seeing a check there is big. Now, they are checking, which is going to put them up to 27, which is okay with us. We'll put the Skydiver in, because we're at 16, right? We're at 16 Skydiver, so we can attack back. Again, one more time. Push them up to 5 damage. And we are then actually going to take our Skydiver and replace it here. And leave two intercepts up for ourselves. So that is how you bait MLB into it, because if they leave, let, leave themselves open, you can get... Now, obviously, we got lucky by getting the double trigger, so I'm not going to say it works like that every time, but we've now pushed MLB here to 5 damage. We're sitting at 3. Um, we haven't even started using Dan or anything like that yet, and we're sitting on 2 PGs in hand and easily the ability to start cracking off Dan uh, next turn. Now, they have not ripped any heals out of their deck, um, or PGs, so I don't think it's going to be just easy to run through them here or anything like that still. And the fact that we are, um, speaking of heals out of their deck, uh, the fact that we are missing General Siegfried and one, two, three, we only have one left in the deck, uh, also will still mean that we're going to have some troubles here. Um, but that is a helpful card. Uh, so we are going to run Bracky here. We're going to run you here. Then we're going to Dan and replace that. So we'll take that out, take that out. Dan to replace that. Yeah, I think that is the best way to do it. Okay. So you'll go there. We're not going to activate your ability. We are going to activate your ability. Allow us to draw a card here. Did it not? Oh, sorry, that was the booster. My bad. Not draw card. Um, now we are going to activate Dan. Uh, all right, we'll throw Dan down. Toss a Dan for Dan, to Dan. Um, I think I'm positive he's going to PG, so I would rather just grab the Panther. Like, he's going to have a PG in hand for sure. Oh, sorry, we're a... He healed one. Okay, that makes the difference. Um, either way, knowing them, I would rather just play it a little bit safe. I can't believe we just double-triggered again. <laughs> That's crazy. We've been very trigger-happy this game. We've hit all nine of our draw triggers. 
But there they are now into their heals, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I guess that means all our attacks are hitting. It just means they're P we're not pulling their PGs out here. So We do know we have to be careful moving forward now, though, because we have one heal left in deck currently. Because um, we've hit all of our draw triggers, so we have no triggers to rely on moving forward. And this isn't going to get through because we're going to end up perfect guarding this attack out, so. Oh, Dan is not what we wanted to see there. Um, this is going to be a little bit rough. They're going to be able to knock us around a little bit next turn. Um, so we are going to... Oh, sorry, we're going to ride skip. We're going to play jugs. Um, we're actually going to play... Dan here, believe it or not. Uh... Battle. I am not going to invoke Jugs back into the deck. I want him to have to actually deal with it. Um, and if he doesn't, then it's available for me next turn because we're not going to have any interceptors anyway. So I'm hoping it's going to be a tempting target. And we don't have everything to use Dan right now. So, all right. We still have a PG up. So I'm still fairly confident. They've now run through two of their heals. They don't have any Blaster Blades left in deck, I don't believe. But they are drawing grade 2s like crazy. Um, so what we're hoping for is to avoid another heal trigger. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> Just not letting us have this, eh? Okay, um, Bracky is good. We're going to switch Bracky out over here. There's no point in feigning. I mean, we have one heal trigger left in deck. We're going to put the assault squad down, uh, move the battle. We're going to hold, go here. We're going to hold our Bracky. We're not going to invoke. We are going to go here. Here we will invoke Juggernaut Maximum. To create the space. For us to use Dan. And we are actually going to pull Maximum back out of the deck. Okay, well, at least they didn't hit there. Uh, there we go. I just can't believe they hit that other heal trigger there. Oh, they had the PG too. That's unfortunate. <laughs> so, hitting all four heal triggers uh, <laughs> certainly creates a problem for us. Um, hopefully, we can... Be kind, rewind, and hit it. <laughs> We've lost. Um, however, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We went through two PGs and four heal triggers. Um, and we have not actually successfully healed once. So we actually did nine damage to their five that game. Uh, I can be pretty okay and pretty happy with that, uh, that result. So we may have lost to MLB there, but man, did we put up an 